What up, fish people? Kenny E with Vatican Aquatics. Guys, I am so over the top excited today. Finally, all the stars have aligned, and I am at Breeder John's facility. Now, keep in mind the tanks I'm going to be showing you. I didn't want them to mess with the glass. I didn't want them to do anything. I want them to see it in his natural environment because he is a hardcore breeder. These are set up for breeding. The water is crystal clear, but there is going to be some algae on the glass and all that. You guys need to understand these, this is a breeder facility. And when I get done with you today and you see all the amazing rare, rare, rare fish he's got that he's bred, John is awesome as far as what he's bred. Anyway, my hands are shaking. Let me mellow out for a minute and we'll start over here. So these are some Dichrosis Wesini. And I'll try to find the fish for you. I'm gonna go nice and slow through this one. This is gonna be the Kenny E. Old style, guys. I've gotta to try to find the fish for you. This camera will do a good job. I don't know what, they were just here a second ago. Where have they ran to? But this is your average breeding facility. He's got lots of nice little caves and hides and all that. We'll move on to the next tank. I promised him I would not interrupt his fish in their normal behavior. Because John, I'm like the first YouTuber ever to come here. He doesn't allow anybody in his fish room. And only because we're buddies, he allowed me to do this today. So, I'm just going to slowly go through each tank for you. But these are his dichrosis, which he just sold a ton of these off. All right, I'm striking out so far, guys. All right, we'll go down to this one. I think a lot of these are empty right now because he just had a shipment. It gets better, trust me. Right there. Uh, let's home in on that for you for a sec. There's a little Dichrosis Wesini. But he keeps all of his tanks very moaned up, very... Lots of wood, lots of rock. Makes a beautiful little love nest. Now, if you are a reader, you understand you got to have all this goodness in here to keep the babies happy when they're born. And John, also I'll show you those later, he does commercial sized tubs for uh, scuds, daphnia, black worms. So, I mean, he, he grows out a lot of his food. I don't know if these lower tanks... Hey, John, these two lower ones on these, right when you walk in the door, is there anything in these? They're on this right side? Yeah. And they're down next to the logs, right in the front. You can hardly see them. These are beta. And they're the cool. There he is. Wow, ain't he awesome looking? See that red guy right there? So, person you all know in the fish fam that will be having these guys in their fish room soon is, what, Jeff. Ain't that cool? Oh, Kenny E ain't as young as he once was. So, where do I go next? I think these are ant tetra babies or guppies. What are these? Then yeah, these were the ant tetras, weren't they? No, these look like a different type of tetra. No, that's a different kind of tetra. What were these ones, John? That's the thing about John's place. You never know what. Tetra. What are they? Tecano tetra. 
Tecano Tetras, these are called. Now John's operation is pretty cool. Most everything he brings in, he brings in as wild and then he breeds them out and gets a ton of F1 stuff out there in the fish community. He's really good at it. Well, I guess the ant tetras are over here. I'll show you those in a second. You all have heard me talk about the ant tetras. But that's what's cool when you come to Breeder John's place. You never know what the heck you're going to see here. He's always got such cool fish here. And there's the tetras again. I'll get closer so you can see them. Get those wild. And up here looks, I thought I saw it in a pistol. Yep little epistos and here comes all the kids because they're curious wondering what I'm up to come on focus focus sorry guys trying to get it to focus but there's a little baby I mean you could get lost in this place guys so much fun so much fun And then he does have this tank down here for his girls with full of uh, panda guppies. They like their panda guppies. <laughs> his little girls even got the hustle at a young age. And there's his main breeder male right there that makes a lot of pretty kids. Now keep in mind if you ever do get the privilege of shooting somebody's fish room that has the wild fish in it, be sensitive, move very slowly with the camera because a lot of these guys don't like being shot. If a breeder's nice enough to let you come into their facility, definitely, definitely, definitely respect their fish. So I'm going to go slow because I don't want to scare them. Then these are all of his kids of Aunt Tetras. So Dennis Christensen, if you're watching this video, your babies will be heading out tomorrow. And I'm here shooting them today. John lives about three hours from Danny and I. He used to live literally 10 minutes from me, so I could be here looking at this stuff every day. Unfortunately, he moved to Ben now, so I don't get over as much as I used to. But aren't those cool guys? Look at those bad boys. I just feel so privileged being here. So Dennis Christensen, there you go, there's your babies. So everybody but Lady Diane, he'll be shipping you out tomorrow. I just talked to him, got him paid. Everybody that got fish, he'll be shipping tomorrow with the exception of Lady Diane because she asked that we not ship till the 30th and he'll do that. What? John? What is this sexy? Man, that is a cool fish. What is this? It's got a red tail. Uh, it's cockatoides. That's cockatoides, a pistol? Yeah. Isn't that great? Wow. I think John's just about bred every pistol on earth now. I wish now that I would have bred out or tried to breed. He had some, uh, these ones that were called D6 that we had for about four years. And we lost our last one about a, two months ago. They aged out and died on us. But he always has such cool epistos. Like I said, you could get lost here, guys, very quickly. And this is only one part of his fish room. I'm in, uh, this is kind of where he's got most of his tetras and that type of thing, epistos. Wait till you t I take you, you think you've seen something now. You wait till I take you to the heart of this sucker. 
And there's some red mosaic guppies. John's starting to get, Johnny boy's getting down that there guppy rabbit hole now. I think he's got the bug. Got some pretty good looking guppies here. Never thought I'd see guppies in Breeder John's place. <laughs> I don't know what these are, but they're pretty. John, what's the gr pretty green guppies you got here? Green dragons? They're pretty, man. And if you guys have interest in anything you're seeing here, reach out to me on this video and I'll get you in touch with John. A lot of the stuff you see here today is for sale with the exception of his breeders, obviously, but he usually has babies of just about everything. And he ships anywhere in the continental USA and guarantees live arrival, but you have to pay for overnight UPS. And if you have a problem, he refunds you both shipping and the fish, which not a lot of guys do that. So give me one second, I'll be right back. Actually, we'll just go around here, go around, Up. Oh, here's what I wanted to show you. And of course, any good breeder's got his breeding boxes ready to go. So this was the live food that I was telling you guys about. He keeps these great big things. He's got Daphnia scuds, black worms, you doing mosquito larvae or no? Make you itch. Make you. <laughs> he says no, makes me itch. And he's got two of those guys. So we'll head on over here into the main part of the room. So here I got to be real careful. These are his, a lot of his altums and uh, zebra cara and all that stuff are in here. And he's got more food tubs. He's giving them a water change today. There you see his brine shrimp hatcheries, always going 24-7. I had to take care of his fish room for a week, and let me tell you, those brine shrimp. So you guys all know what these are. John has successfully bred these several times now. These are his colony of zebra L46s. He was kind enough to send Danny and I home with a few today. Aren't they pretty? I don't think he's got anything down there. And then this is another group of them over here. These are the younger ones he has. Got a lot. This guy, anything he decides he wants to breed, he breeds. Just amazing. He's also the one that taught me a lot when it comes to shipping for my business. And then down here, he's got L236s. Aren't they pretty? So I think I'll start us down this way. Now these tanks, guys, I'm gonna go extremely slow. I don't wanna freak out his, these are his altums and I don't wanna freak them out. So this is the uh, little group he has. These would be like ones that he's growing up to possibly breed at a later time. He lets him, puts him in a group like this, waits for him to pair off, and the rest is history. And down below here, I, I'll tell you what, I'll just keep going like this for now, and then we'll go down below. So I'm trying to make as little movement in here as I can. These guys don't like the camera, especially the Altums. 
If they get the spazzy guys, I'm sorry, I'm going to abort the mission because I don't want this fish paying the price. But aren't they gorgeous, guys? I'm trying real hard not to shake my hand right now, but it's getting harder the closer to them we get. Aren't those amazing? Yeah, I've learned a lot about this species knowing John. But he does this for a living. I mean, this is what John does. He loves breeding fish, and he loves being a guy that, you know, checks fish off the uh, list. A lot. Not a lot of people in the world have had the privilege to breed. But they are amazing, just gorgeous. And he uses ginormous tanks for these guys. These are all 180s. But that's what you gotta have if you're gonna do an Ultima Angels. They're very big. Danny and I actually probably screwed up on ours. Should have been in a bigger tank. Now down here is this little colony of Zebra Acara. And John, I mean, he is a breeding machine of these guys. I love this fish. They come right up, say hello. He's always got brews of these going. So if you're in the market for a zebra car, just reach out to me on this video and I'll get you in touch with John. Like I said, the guy is amazing. And I would bet these are zebra car kids over here. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, those don't look like zebra cara. Hey, John, what's these babies you got down here next to the zebra cara? They look like a, say some kind of a pisto. Not sure which species. Of, Pretty little guys, whatever they are. Call to the next tank. This is his little more zebra car. They are such a curious little fish. Look at him coming up. What up, dude? Oh, I see he's got himself a little baby Altum in here growing up with these guys, too. <laughs> so this must be a grow-out tank, I'm assuming. And then again over here, these are his Pride and Joy pair. Or it might be the next row over, but I'm going to go super slow through here. But John breeds the heck out of these Altums. It's kind of his main niche. And then he has several other species that he fills in the blanks in when he's bored. So these are the main pair. i got to go super slow because they hate the camera. I did drop a short on them. Again, guys, I don't want to spook them, so I'm going to be very slow and methodical. Aren't they amazing? I don't want to chase them. They do freak out about the camera, he says, so we'll just give you a couple minutes here. Very stand back away so they aren't freaking out. They're getting nervous, so I'm going to leave here because I don't want to freak them out. He was nice enough to let me come in here, so we do not want to cause this fish any stress while we're here. So again, more Altums. I'm going to go nice and slow. 
And he's actually expanding his operation some more here. He's got some more 180s that he just got. I think those are going to be more grow out tanks for Altums. But one thing I do find interesting about John, he runs all of his systems the same way, matte and filters. Sets them up that way. All right, let's back up in here. This is super dark, so I would say that this is most likely, this may be the whip tail, one of the whip tail tanks. I'll show you the babies of those. It does me no good to show you the fish because they like to bury in the sand. I think that's all we got here. These are all expansion chains right now. I think I saw something move down here. Do we got something in here? Are these more whip tails? I can't tell. And these are some more Altums. And then down below here, we got some more zebra car growing out. As you can see, he's got lots of zebra car, man. So you guys uh, need zebra car? Drop a, drop a line in the video. I'm sure I can get you some. Now I have to show these little guys. So I think it, who was the auction? I think it was Jeff Kane and Maria Z. Here are your little babies. Those are the little tiny whip tails. Cute little guys. Get you a side view here. Aren't they cute? Sorry about the focus, guys. There's too much. I'll set it right there for a second. So you guys can see them. Aren't they cute? And there's a man. Oh, cool. I can't believe one actually is out. Usually they're buried. I'll get you a home in. That is an adult one right there. Gorgeous your species of fish. Now, these are the true Colombian whip tails. I'm not even going to attempt to butcher their scientific name. Just, they're a whip tail. Ain't that cool? So, anyway, guys. As always, love your fish. This is Kenny E. Giving a shout out to Breeder John for allowing me to come read his facility today. Anyway, guys, as always, love your fish. We'll catch you next time.